In this video we'll briefly discuss what is penicillin V, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Penicillin V, also known as phenoxymethyl penicillin, and penicillin V potassium, is an antibiotic that inhibits mucopeptide synthesis of bacterial cell wall. It is available as 250 and 500 mg tablets and also available as 125 and 250 mg per 5 ml oral suspension. It is indicated principally for upper respiratory tract infections, for streptococcal tonsillitis, scarlet fever, and for continuing treatment following parenteral therapy with penicillin. Also used in the prophylaxis of recurrent rheumatic fever, and prophylaxis of pneumococcal infections. The usual dosage of penicillin V for children under 1 year, is 250 mg per day, in 2 divided doses. And for children from 1 to 6 years, 500 mg per day in 2 divided doses. For children from 6 to 12 years, is 1 gram per day, in 2 divided doses. And for children over 12 years and adults, 2 grams per day in 2 divided doses. Do not administer to patients with allergy to penicillin. And administer with caution to patients with allergy to cephalosporin, because cross-sensitivity may happen. And also administer with caution to patients with severe renal impairment. In this case dose must be reduced. Do not treat severe pneumonia, empyema, bacteremia, pericarditis, meningitis, and purulent or septic arthritis with oral penicillin V during acute stage. Do not combine with methotrexate. There is no contraindication to use penicillin during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Penicillin may cause diarrhea, nausea, allergic reactions that are sometimes severe. Take penicillin V between meals. Complete entire course of therapy, even if you feel better. Report these signs of hypersensitivity to your physician. Skin rash itching, hives, shortness of breath, and wheezing, and other side effects, such as black tongue, sore throat, nausea, vomiting, severe diarrhea, fever, and swollen joints. And also notify your physician if there is no improvement in symptoms of infection, or if there are signs of superinfection, such as vaginitis, and black hairy tongue. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.